Uh, the final part is PID tuning. Uh, PID tuning. Uh, we have this old PID. Now uh, we just uh, copy. Um, in case of restart, we want to keep the um, uh, initial PID values constant. You can change them. Uh, let me check reg, reg 1. Reg 1 is um, a P for reg 1 is uh, 50 and uh, I for reg one should be 30. In each reSR, these values are loaded into the uh, program. Into the these values are loaded into the PID controllers. Uh, switches are important. Uh, you know, we are, in here we have uh, four switches. Uh, we want to make sure that even they are. Um, enabled and disabled this part of uh, PID controller is disabled and uh, we use this uh, if regulator is uh, if rig one is man and the output of the mm, PID is uh, zero uh, the switch is true otherwise it's false only for uh, rig two we enable the PID, we make it in manual and output is zero. Only for PID2 is, uh, this uh, value is true for PID2. You can see that this uh, variable is true. And we uh, disabled. We disabled uh, this part and if, uh, if I change the, uh, this PID into automatic mode, uh, I don't want to do that now. Uh, this value will uh, will will be changed. But uh, the automatic mode of PID controllers are written in the program and cannot be changed by the operator during the operation. So uh, uh, this is for uh, IGB control and this part for PCB control. We have you know, Rec ten and Rec twenty the same. And you can see the result here. Uh, switch one is enabled. Switch two is disabled. Switch three, four enabled. That's all for now. And uh, this is the end of uh, compressor simulation. And uh, then this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, the next step for you will be